I believe if the ogres and madams at the top will allow whom the cat feed, let him or her wear it, or if a particular position is merited by someone without biased mind from others, let the person accept it. Do you think that Professor Prom Lumumba that said that Africa is being maltreated, Africa is being humiliated, Africa is not treated well worldwide. Do you accept what he said in this video? Guys, drop your thoughts, your views, and opinion in the comment section as we roll in now. We are seen as being corrupt, we are seen as being dubious, we are seen as people who always use opportunity when it comes. Nobody cares about us. And brothers and sisters, if you want to know how weak we are, and we are weak, look at how we are treated. Last month, the world met in New York. The General Assembly. When African heads of states and government are speaking, the hall is empty. Nobody bothers because they are saying nothing. Even if they are saying something, it is something that can be ignored. Compare when an African head of state and government is speaking and when the Prime Minister of Little Israel is speaking. They will listen because we are weak and disunited. So we have a weak continent because the spirit of Pan-Africanism disappeared. So the question that we can ask, what is the state of Pan-Africanism as we speak today? The African Union, which is weak, says the right things and does the wrong things. Nine out of ten times. And what are the critical areas in which we are weak? We are weak politically. Because nobody listens to us. We are not trading with one another. Intra-African trade is not anything beyond 15%, the lowest anywhere in the world. If you look at all our sectors and look at them, look at our agriculture, almost all African countries are net food importers. There is not a single African country that is in meaningful technology. Not a single African country produces a mobile phone. Yet the single most important ingredient in mobile telephony is to be found in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not a single African country produces a car other than assembling completely knocked down kits. There is no meaningful production of pharmaceutical products in Africa. And if there was any doubt, COVID exposed it. All African countries, the 55 of them, are waiting to either receive Sinovac from China, Sputnik from Russia, AstraZeneca, Johnson or Moderna, and we don't even know what they are because our bureaus of standardization don't know. If you ask the Ethiopian Bureau of Standards what they are asking us to be injected with, they do not know. They just believe it is a vaccine because the Americans have said so or because the Chinese have said so. Africa is weak. 
so that even this magnificent edifice, I suspect, has not been erected by Ethiopian engineers. When I see the signage in Chinese, I suspect it is the Chinese. That is how weak we are. That is the reality of our mother continent. It is because we are politically weak, we are economically weak, socially we are disorganized, culturally and spiritually we are confused. That is the continent in which we are today. We unite or we perish. That as I travel along across the world, People do not care about our Tanzanianness or our Ghanaianness or our Kenyanness or our Ethiopianness. In their eyes, we are all Africans. And perhaps that is what we should use as the building block in order to talk about African unity. But we are not being naive about that unity. Because sometimes when we talk about pan-Africanism and about African unity, people think we are being too simplistic about it. No, it is not being simplistic and being naive. It is recognizing that as long as we remain the way we are, then Africa in the next 25 years will be recolonized. Did you like or hate so what you heard? Africa's, do we want Africa as a continent to be recolonized by the colonial masters? Should we fold our hands and see things go wrong? As the professor said in this video, that the African Union is weak. When we talk about Pan-Africanism, let us know the meaning of that. Pan-Africanism is a worldwide movement that aims to encourage and strengthen the bond of solidarity between all indigenous and diaspora ethnic groups of African descent. So guys, with what Professor have spoken in his video, where he talked about Pan-Africanism, as a continent that we are, a strong one at that, and because of the way people are seeing us, because of the way we Africans are treating ourselves, makes outsiders to see us as a continent that is not threatened. The principle of advocate of the political union of all indigenous inhabitants of Africa so guys what do you think about this video did he really say your mind without fear or favor don't be biased about this if you know you are an africa and you come across this video why don't you share your thoughts how do you become a pan africa since the idea is that peoples of african descent have common interests and should be unified. Do you think that there are many varieties of African achievements, the history, the facts, when we talk about Pam Africanism? What was the purpose of Pam Africanism? Who started Pam Africanism? When did Pam Africanism start? All these are questions that we need to know so if i were you whenever i come across this video i will what just run to google to check out all these questions there you will see your answer thanks for watching to the end of this video i will see you some other time god willing let's not forget that palm africanism is the belief that people of African descent have common interest and should be unified historically. That is what Pan-Africanism is all about. 
the ideas it emerged in the late 19th century in response to European colonization and exploitation of the African continent at large. Pan-Africanism was initially an anti-slavery and anti-colonial movement amongst black people of Africa. And it was the idea that in order to achieve their potential, all Africans on the continent and its diaspora needed to unify. The Pan-Africanism movement was founded in the 19th century by intellectuals of African descent in the Caribbean and North America who see themselves as black Negro. So guys, in other words, the meaning of Pan-Africanism is a movement for the political union of all the African nations. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So go and check out the Pan-Africanism leaders, impacts of Pan-Africanism, Pan-Africanism quotes, achievements and the failures of Pan-Africanism. Who was the Pan-African movement apes? The impact of Pan-Africanism and Pan-Africanism flag. So the answers to this question, I believe you will see at Google. So I will say, know your history today. Goodbye for now.